Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Car Surf Racing 2 with Bro Gamer Auto House. Today, we're talking about the top five best drift cars in the game. Um, it's going to be one car from each tier, so tier one through tier five. As you can see, a couple of them flashing on the screen. I'm going to talk about them just a little bit, and then we're going to hop out, show you a full run at Kami Road, and see what you guys think. So um, I'm really excited to make this video. I was really looking forward to it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out, and uh, not as many of you have been subscribing lately. So looking forward to that, but uh, here we go. All right, guys, so let's jump right on into it. Uh, the top five of my favorite cars, basically the top car out of each tier that I really enjoy the most, and I kind of wanted to talk about them, show you a little bit of driving from each one, and uh, kind of explain why I like them so much. So number one, tier one. Uh, my favorite overall car in Tier 1 is the Pirate. And I will say it used to be the Hachi Roku, um, but I got an engine swap for the Pirate, that 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo. And this thing is a lot of fun. It's kind of like a, a JZX. I know it's actually like a, a Cressida, I believe it is, in real life. And once you get some power in this thing and swing it around, it is an absolute blast. So if you don't already have the car or you have an engine swap and you haven't put it in yet, Certainly give it a shot, it's worth a try. I'll show you guys just a little bit of driving on that right now. So I'm gonna try not to talk too much during um, these clips so you guys can focus on, you know, listening to the engine noises and everything, but um, this car is nice and long because it's a four-door, so the way it kind of swings in transition is really nice in my opinion, and that's why I like this car the most out of all the tier one cars, because it's a lot bigger than you know, Hachi Roku, the Miatas, the E30 BMW. This is probably the biggest tier one car. So I think just swinging that weight around, having the extra power from the engine swap, it it just takes the cake for me. I, I love the Hachi Roku as well, um, but this one is just so good. Then jumping over to tier two, we have the Black Fox. Now, this is a Mustang Fox body that um, basically was designed uh, by Hoonigan, and then they brought this into the game. It's not the official version, but it's based on the same design. Um, this thing is an absolute monster for a Tier 2 car with no engine swap to have 853 horsepower and 973 newton meters of torque. Um, this thing is just an absolute torque monster. Even with semi-slicks on it, you can light the tires up real quick. Um, I'm not sure if this is an event car or if it's if you're able to buy it or not. I can't remember when I got it. Um, but if that is the case, there's a ton of great cars in Tier 2. Uh, my second favorite would probably be the Phoenix NX if you can't get the Black Fox. But um, either way, fantastic car. So we'll jump out to some driving with the Black Fox. And then we'll come back for a little Tier 3 action. All right, so this thing is an absolute beast. I, I know I mentioned the torque already, but holy crap, when you shift this thing, it is going. I know it's kind of funny. Um, if you listen, you hear when I shift up to the next gear, it almost sounds like it has like a torque converter because it kind of like, like slips the clutch into the next gear or something. It's one of the only cars I've heard it on, um, but it works out really well. It, it offers for a smooth shift and a nice, you know, kind of flow into the next gear. So. Um, that's one of the reasons I really like this car, just the fact that it's a tier two car and the stock motor has so, so much power um, that it's just so fun to drive. So jumping over to tier three, my favorite tier three car has to be the Interstate. Um, this thing was a, a late entry to the game. It was actually not available when I first started playing this game and they released it. Um, I believe it was for an event or something like that, but I got it. I kept the stock motor in it because it has great torque. Um, it's at 811 torque, 777 horsepower. It's more than enough. I don't know what it is about this engine or maybe the tune, um, but this thing runs semi-slicks and it's an absolute monster. Um, but given that it might be a event car, I do want to say that my second favorite is the Horizon GT4. Um, even with the stock motor, I do have an engine swap for that one, but with the stock motor, it's a great car, um, so that would be my secondary option for Tier 3. Uh, let's jump out to some interstate driving, and then we'll head on over to Tier 4. 
So the interstate, um, this thing is also just an absolute animal with the stock motor. Um, it's a long car. I, I think, you know, similar to my tier one favorite, I really like this in tier three for its length. Um, even though it is just a coupe, I think that front end is really, really long. In general, the car is just pretty big and the power delivery is just great. It holds massive angle and it's just a blast to drive. You know, there's a ton, a ton of great cars in tier three. You really can't go wrong with most of them. Um, and same with tier four, to be honest. But man, this thing, if you can get your hands on it, jump on it and give it a shot because it is worth your time. In tier four, guys, nothing says drifting like an S15. The Spectre RS is a fantastic car. Um, I do have two engine swaps, as you can see for it. Um, but I actually switched back to the stock motor. I just liked the feel of it, the response on the throttle and everything like that. So if you don't already have the Spectre RS in tier four, be sure to buy it. It's an absolute drift machine. Um, you can certainly ask me for my tune if you want in the comments and I'll, I'll let you know that as well. Um, but either way, this thing is a lot of fun. It's nimble, it's fast. And uh, why don't we jump out, show you a little run on Kami Road, um, just like we have with the other ones. And then we'll move on to tier five for my number one favorite car in the entire game. And I'm not kidding, I use this car nonstop. We'll show you that right after this clip. So the S15, the Spectre RS, man, this thing I will say is probably the most nimble car and the way that it responds to inputs, I'm able to put this thing just about anywhere I want to. That's why you're seeing more, you know, wall taps with this car. You're seeing closer to the, you know, outer proximity um, in certain zones. Just overall, when you want to put it somewhere, it goes there. And it does it really well. It's really steady. There's a reason this is probably the most infamous drift chassis that's out there. And uh, it's shown in the game. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Tier five, number one car has to go to the Spark ZR. I have just about every tier five car minus the Blackjack pickup truck. There's nothing that performs like the Spark ZR. It's nimble, it's fast, it transitions super quickly. Um, this thing on semi slicks with the stock motor completely upgraded has 977 horsepower, 988 Newton meters of torque. This thing is an absolute monster. I love driving it, so I'm going to jump out, show you guys a clip at Kami Road. Check that out, and then uh, be sure to stay tuned for top drift clips coming at you tomorrow. Um, they're going to be tomorrow afternoon, probably closer to around the 4 o'clock p.m. mark here, Central Time um, in the U.S., so a little later than my normal posting time for that, but nonetheless, it's going to be a blast, so I can't wait for you guys to check it out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Nothing does it better than the Spark ZR, you guys. This thing is also an animal. I know I've been saying I sound like a broken record about these cars, but in each tier, it's been so fun to select, you know, which one I enjoy the most. And there's not a car that I have used more in this game than the Spark ZR overall. It's great in chasing. It's great in competition. It's fast. And even when I throw a sport tire on it instead of a semi-slick, it still performs really well. It's huge, huge angle. Um, it, you just can't go wrong. And, and it's my overall favorite car in the game. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Put your life in drive. We'll see you next time.